I just made this really neat discovery that provides a flaw to what seemed for three months a flawless concept. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm referring to the prison called the Rebus Abyss. The Rebus Abyss is made out of two concepts that seem to be flawless, a perception box and a cell in the end. How this works is that prison builders destroy all the end portals in the world except for one and trap the prisoner in that one end portal. Around this end portal, however, is a perception box, which is a ton of observers set up in a that you cannot mine in, wither in, or basically do anything without activating one of the observers. While there have been valid escapes for this prison, these problems are all fixable and are not problems with the concept itself. Now what is the one flaw to the perception box and end prisons? Well, it's vexes. If you don't know what a vex is or if you need a brief refresher, vexes are a mob spawned by the evoker. They attack players, villagers, and iron golems. They can pass through any blocks, they can go through nether portals and end portals, and they often have very rapid and uncontrollable movement. And you can already see how the vex is damaging to Erebus Abyss, because if you had a vex, technically they could pass through all the walls of Erebus Abyss and enter the end portal. However, there are a few problems with this. Number 1. The first problem is something that I didn't mention before. They have a lifespan of 30 seconds to 2 minutes. Even if we go with the high end of 2 minutes, because of their rapid and uncontrollable movement, they'll probably die before reaching the cell. And numero 2. Another problem is that they attack players. They'd most likely attack the guards instead of going to the end portal, which would end badly for them, as, as the guards would kill them. And even if they don't kill them because of their timer, they'd be wasting their time heading after the guards which would be a losing battle anyway, because they'd only have a minute or two to live. So, I figured out a way how to solve both of these problems. So how do I solve both of these problems? Well, I started testing. One thing you need to know about vexes is that their movement is based on the position of the evoker. Now your first thought might be to kill the evoker, and that was my first thought as well. However, when you kill the evoker, the vex has the past position of the evoker to go off. So I tested for a bit longer, and I figured out a way to make vexes go from a lottery ticket to run where you want once in a lifetime, to a heat-seeking missile with 100% accuracy and can hit its target from up to 200 blocks away, more accurate than any projectile inside. Of the game. So how do you do this, you ask? Well, nether portals. You see, when you have an evoker in the nether, you lead the vex out of the nether and into the overworld, the vex has nothing to go off of as the evoker isn't inside of the world. It is inside of a completely different dimension. So because the evoker has nothing to go off of, it changes the direction that it was already headed when it went inside the portal. It continues on this direction forever until it unfortunately dies. In this stage, it doesn't attack players, however, it can, it can still fly through blocks and enter nether portals. When it enters end portals, I don't know why, but the air reverts for some reason and it attacks you. I don't know why this happens, but it's good for me. So then it will attack the player and kill the player. After this, you can just wither through the bed. So now I'm going to discuss some ways to fix this, because despite me saying there are no ways, I do think there are two actually good ways to combat this technique. First of all, making the prison bigger. If you make the prison like twice the size of the pyramid, you could actually prevent a vex from reaching the nether portal. Because as I said before, the vex does have a limited amount of time that they can live. Good job making all that in scale. Huh? Another way to fix this would be bubble columns, as bubble columns still affect vexes. However, you can make your portal behind the bubble and do the same method. You know, I can't think of any foolproof ways to solve this problem. I guess until someone finds a way, this is the unsolvable flaw in all end prisons. What's this? Mining robots are challenging. Don't just sit there.